This is One on One. We're honored to be joined by Mr. Jimmy Brown the what? Third, fourth? Third. And who's the fourth? Jimmy Brown the fourth is my son. You're from, from Staten Island. You're a research participant, the Center for Spinal Stimulation at Kessler Foundation. Jimmy, great to have you with us. Thank you. First of all, the fact that you're participating tonight in this forum is a big deal. Very. Tell folks in 2004 how your life changed. Um, in 2004, I was uh, 24 years old. I went down the shore, and unfortunately, I, I dove into a shallow bay and broke my neck and uh, changed life quite a bit. Um, I was athletic. I played sports my whole life. Um, I went to St. Peter's in Jersey City, played baseball. Um, so not being able to participate in sports and my leisure activities was quite, quite dramatic. Your family, you got a boy and a girl? Boy and a girl. Ages? Two and five. So Jim, let's do this. We talk about being a research participant, but break down for people, like what does that mean? Like what kind of research are we talking about at the foundation? So I've done, um, I've done the exoskeleton, which is walking in the robot. Um, I've done um, the TRT study, which is, um, it's a, you get some testosterone gel and you put that on your uh, shoulders every day for six months. And now I'm doing the, uh, the stimulation of the spine. I actually have it on the back of my neck now. Um, it's not activated, but it's, it's lined up for later. I'm sorry for interrupting, Jim. Is that the transcutaneous? Correct. Transcutaneous stimulation. Let's get this, folks. It's a non-invasive treatment. Applies an electrical current to the skin overlying the spinal cord to promote voluntary muscle, fi muscle firing and independent movement. In ink, well, that's a little jargony. Break that down. So I've done some stimulation before in the past where they basically put the stim pads right on your muscles and it automatically moves your muscles for you. This, I believe, goes slightly below where the stimulation is doing it for you. It's voluntarily, right. um, but it's very interesting stuff. I've, I've noticed pretty good gains. Um, you may not see dramatic gains from the naked eye, but what I feel is something that is very hard to put in words. Listen, 5% gain for you might not be something to the naked eye, but 5% in my lifestyle is tremendous. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about that 5%, because one of the things Jim's gonna do in the panel that I'll be moderating, that he'll be a part of, help us understand this. You're gonna hold a glass. I don't let, don't take it from me, you, you do it. What are you gonna do? So basically, they're gonna put water in a glass, and I have to pick the glass up and fill a cup with water. Um, seems like a rather simple task, but something that I cannot do right now independently without the stim. Can't. Cannot. Cannot pick the glass up enough to get it to turn and put water in a cup is something that with the stim on, I can lift up and turn and pour the water in a cup. It is. And like I said, what I can feel in my hand, the grip strength, the amount of, uh, you know, the, 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 the power that you can put into them fingers, that little bit of gain where I can't do it without it, putting the stimulation on and pouring the water in the cup, that little, little bit that it gives you allows, and when you convert that, I mean, that's just water in a cup today, but, and you put that into perspective in life, it's... What could that mean? What does that mean to you? On a, forget about the clinical research stuff, the medicine, the medical piece. What does it mean to you, personally? My son throws a ball at me right now. The fact that I could just grab that little ball and throw it back to him, it brings a tear to your eye. Hey, Jimmy, listen. We appreciate you coming uh, over from the island from Staten Island to be with us. We can't thank you enough. Thank you. We wish you all good things. We thank you for being a part of this conversation because we could talk about it. I could talk to clinicians, researchers, but it's only people like you who are actually participating who can tell us what really is going on. So I want to thank you. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Appreciate it. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, the Russell Berry Foundation,
The Northward Center, New Jersey Resources, the law firm of Gibbons PC, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, and by ADP. Promotional support provided by NJ.com and by Tap Into TV. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.